that down light as well, but it will not be enough. Wow, Tiff, you should be able. Wow, is that enough? Wow. It's Gucci gang. The Gucci gang, yeah. Yes. Yeah, Three, two. Interesting. One. But here we go, starting off grand finals. Tiff, Tiff needs first hit. Yeah, starting things off with the bow. I do like the bow matchup into the scythe. Um, sometimes Gauntlets does well against bow. It depends on how well she can space. Tiffany's starting things off looking really well, though. Looking for some bow conversions. Not quite hitting them, but just chipping away. Sandstorm already in the orange. Yeah, Sandstorm trying to find that opening. Just trying to feel out Tiffany's playstyle. See if he is able to do so, though, as he gets hit by nice counter from Tiffany. Yeah, and uh, Sandstorm finally gets a sight. Now we're going to see if he's able to do the same types of things he was doing to Boomy and Stevenator. I just can't see it happening. Tiffany, she is so spacey, so I don't... I can't see these giant strings happening. Wow. He gets hit with the back end of the axe recovery. Stock one going to Tiffany of these grand finals. Of course, that does mean that Sandstorm will have to win two sets in a row against Tiffany if he wants to have a chance at going for gold. But so far, Tiffany looking like she's in a good spot to stop that from happening. Yeah, Tiffany's playing really, really well. She's using the bow's kit to her advantage. Um, tries to go for that ground pound. Very ballsy play because Sandstorm has one of the best ground pounds in the game. Um, she used her recovery and down she goes, Sandstorm. Um, only in the yellow. Sandstorm. Throw that weapon. Get himself from the scythe. That way, Tiff will not have a weapon to counteract all this aggression with. And the disjoint from that scythe as well, being such a problem for Tiffany to deal with, finally manages to get herself an axe. But at this point, Sandstorm is already evened up. Big damage. Nice Ooh. Ooh. Tiffany trying to hit that gravity cancel neutral sig off the top, which it would have assuredly killed. Um, doesn't quite hit it, but she's looking really good right now. Sandstorm. Gonna go for the Sayer. He's looking to get more with Ooh. that Sig. Unable to get it, but it will get a punish with that Nucleate. Now he's trying to make his way back to the center platform. He does manage to do so. And get a recovery, too, so not a bad trade. And Tiffany is playing this really, really well. But Sandstorm is fought all the way back, too, so. Oh, nice play. That will 100% kill. And that's that. That's that new buff that Bo just got, the 16 to 23 stun frame buff that it just got. You can literally combo it into anything. And what a good move for it to have now. Wow, Silent like, gonna whiff from Sandstorm. Tries to do a grab and cancel sig, not gonna be able to make it. Jump back onto the stage though, is behind quite a bit. Tiffany looking to close out this I game. Side sig. Complete whiff. Wonder if it was on purpose or not. Um, but Sandstorm has a scythe in hand against an unarmed Tiff. He should be able. Wow! Is that enough? Wow! What a play from Sandstorm to take game one. And nothing. Speechless is I. Feeling like Yoda talking backwards. But <laughs> Sandstorm, <laughs> being Clutch Master Supreme the end of that game one manages to get around almost gets another versal on tiff sandstorm feeling himself now like just he he thinks he can go in and not be punished anymore he's playing really really well okay tries to work his way around sandstorm looking for that opening once again goes for the side light waits manages to get one unable to get the dodge read however as Tiffany enables around the battlefield, gets hit by that side sig, <gasps> throws it. That could be enough, Tiffany. Oh my goodness, what an option! Doesn't wow. kill though. I'm really surprised that the kill that it just didn't kill off the bounce. Yeah, somehow Tiffany finding way to recover from these really just unorthodox options we're seeing from Sandstorm. Oh, nice wow, play. Wow, that's yeah. sick. That is sick. Sandstorm was unable to finish off his dinner on that uh, ledge guard there, on the off-stage off play. And Tiffany 
was able to capitalize and has now got a lead. Well, had a lead. As I say that. Okay. Those uppercut as Tiff goes and grabs a weapon. Sandstorm still has that scythe in the hand, looking to get another humongous conversion. And that will be one. Throws Tiff off to the side of the stage. Ooh. Almost catches t uh, Sandstorm's um, off the side because he had blown his recovery, but was unable to convert. So Tiffany just settled with a little bit of extra damage on the new in the neutral game. However, Sandstorm hits that neutral sig and gives himself a pretty decent lead now. Nice neutral sig from Tiffany herself. It doesn't have a ton of force that neutral sig, but it does good damage. Yeah. Oh my oh, goodness, out. get out! Throws out the trash, goes and picks up a scythe. Sandstorm is looking very good. Gets another D light into some more damage, throwing Tiffany around the battlefield. Oh, nice! And that side sig is a little weird because you can shoot it through the terrain, and it and the and the hitbox will still count if it raises up a little bit over the top of the ledge. And that's exactly what that did to get the kill on Sandstorm there. Okay, wow. Go ahead, go for that air for the upcut as well with the recovery. Just trying to surmount this to more damage, but Tiff is fighting back. She has that put up in hand. There we go. She gets a recovery as well. And at this point, it's quite literally anyone's game. Ever gets the first big conversion to lead to the stock. Victor here. Tiff has stage control. Oh, what nice side stick. It has a little less force on the side. Oh! Ooh. And Sandstorm with that conversion, with that gravity cancel, neutral sig unarmed. Seems to get a lot of mileage with the axe in general. A lot of the stronger conversions that Tiff has been able to get has just been getting that side, like getting them there, going into ground pound. But Ember is the first time we're going to see this today. And Sandstorm doing a very good job of almost robbing games from Tiffany. Last yeah, two games he won, skin of his teeth. Yeah, back-to-back -back games where he stole them. One where a Sig didn't kill, and the second one where he was able to get a crazy game. Um, having said that, this is a new game. We're tied up. Tiffany looking real good with her bow. I think she realizes that she needs two weapons that will do reasonably well against Scythe. And I think Katar and Bow, Katars and Bow both do. Wow. Sandstorm goes... Really low, trying to see catch Tiffany get off recovery with a nair to throw her back down, but he's unable to find it. A little too high. Wow. Stock number one going to Sandstorm. Ooh. Stock number two going to Tiffany right away. <laughs> oh! These, these these games are are so neck and neck. You know, they almost always seem as if they're in Tiff's favor. Then. Sandstorm just, just finds those moments where he's just able to, to eke out a kill, really sneak it in there. The just... thing is, is he can't keep living on just eking out a kill. Right. Uh, he needs to decisively win one of these games, because eventually that luck is gonna run out. And now Tiffany has decided to play a little bit more spacey. Sandstorm tries to go for the side stick once again. Running, We're gonna get that side light, but that's not gonna lead to anything too monumental. And that's kind of been the way, yeah, outside of those two moments. Wow, nice sides are coming out from Tiff. Weapon throw as well to boot, but Sayer from Sandstorm gonna stop any more extra aggression. Down Sig from Tiffany, a little bit less of used Sig for Ember, but it's kind of deceptive because it pulls you back and then springs you forward. And that's exactly what Tiffany used, uh, the pull back into the spring forward to get that stock. It has a lot of force, too. Yeah, it's similar to Hattori's in that sense, where it kind of has a spacing aspect built into the signature. Exactly. Okay. 
manages to grab some guitars, but it doesn't even matter because Sandstorm is ready and waiting with a delight into recovery. These matches have just been so much in each other's faces, no giant conversions, but just lots of taking your hits and then someone else being on the receiving end. Yeah, Tiffany hasn't spaced out Sandstorm as much as that. I don't know if that is as much of Sandstorm doing a really good job of just staying in her face or if Tiffany is trying to play a little bit different. Um, either way, it hasn't quite... It's worked 95% of the time for Tiff and in the last 5% it's kind of screwed up. And we're kind of seeing that again here. Yeah, Sandstorm. A uh, little bit heavier in terms of the damage built up. Gonna need to grab that weapon. Manages to have the scythe. That's exactly what he needs to close this out. It's gonna be another punish on Tiff's side sig. Tiff. I I don't know. It's so close. One hit, misses, dodges the side sig. Ooh, recovery. Not gonna be quite enough. There's not a lot of force on the recovery. Probably wow. need two more. Oh my goodness, how did Tiff dodge through that? That's a really good do uh, dodge from Tiffany. And that's the side sig. Game three going to Tiffany. Bet you a sigh of relief. Okay. Go. Going back to Twilight Grove for game four. Yeah, Sandstorm's favorite map. Said it many times. He loves this map. He likes the angles that he can use Scythe, uh, do with the Scythe off the island. Okay, well, managed to get that beautiful grab from around. Air dodge is up, and Tiff is actually going to capitalize on that by getting a downlight into a little bit of a conversion, but just back and forth every single time. And when you start describing the action of one player, the other one is already just talking back. Yeah, this this is close. Um, no player in any of these games, aside from game one, when Tiffany actually had a very sizable lead, has been... Like, nobody's been able to get a sizable lead. As I say that, Sandstorm does hit that side sig to take stock number one. Ooh, nice down sig from Tiff. Not quite enough force. Not quite enough damage on Sandstorm there. Wow, anti-airs from Sandstorm. Getting immaculate. And recover to the wedge now. Regain center stage and try to pressure Tiff as best as he can. That down light into the side light giving him a lot of damage. Now, this is probably the first time thus far we've seen a lead this monumental. Yeah, this is as big as the lead has gotten in this set. For sure. Tiffany is like pretty deep orange. Now she's in the red. Oh, wow. Ooh, nice. Nice turnaround from Tiff, but that's a lot of damage to make up on this second stock. Yeah, I respect Sandstorm for going that far off stage to try and get that ground pound, really trying to make a statement, hopefully put himself into that reset with some momentum, but Tiffany was ready with the reversal to stop all of that from happening. Yeah, I guess his thought process was it was already a deep red stock. Nice stare, too, to get that kill from uh, Sandstorm, but it was already a deep red stock. Try and go for the risk and give himself a two-stock lead. Didn't work, but he was able to get that second stock really quickly anyways. Okay. Beautiful weapon throw coming up from Sandstorm. Tiffany now on the receiving end of some damage and torture. Going to be trying to fight her way out of these sight strings. But Sandstorm is just relentless. Scythe or not, just... Wow. Is that going to be the stock? Not the quite. Nair. The Nair just hanging on. Tiffany just hanging on with a Nair. Avoiding the reset. There it is. And we have a reset. 3-1 Sandstorm obliterating Tiffany. It's not Tiffany. going to be as close as it was before. Or was that, that stage combination and just the Ember pick not but Tiffany needed. Yeah, I don't know what that Ember pick was. It didn't work. Tiffany has swapped back to the Azoth, which she was getting... Like, in game one, she had a big lead with it. And look at this. She's already built up a big lead again. There's that side sig, the straight-up hitbox. You know, it might have been one of those things where, you know, since you do have the reset to work with, you can just experiment to see if it's a viable option. If not, oh well, you still have all these other games to play. I suppose, but that's probably not what you should be doing in the grand finals of a tournament. 
Um, Tiffany taking stock one hasn't taken a ton of damage yet. Okay. Guess the D light once again. We see Sandstorm trying to start off some scythe damage, but still not quite able to, to get the stock. Tiff is in the the orange, dark orange even, getting closer to that red. Wow! Big time gravity cancel D sig that or side sig that sig. That's a good one. I mean, it has such a long amount of a lingering hitbox. Like, it just has so many active frames. And she knew it. And then she hits the neutral sig with the second shot. She's up two stocks. Maybe you're right. Maybe Tiffany was just playing around a little bit. There we go. Sandstorm, after very close set, still looking to see if he can put some more wins on the board. Of course, you know, this is the first game of the reset, so both these players need to win three. Or rather, three more. Ooh, Tiffany looking for the ground pound, just missing. Almost gets ground pounded herself, but does turn it around with a dare. Wow! Went up with it, too. Surprising. Yeah, but I'm surprised as well. Easier hitbox. I think he knew that it was going to kill either way. Just very good awareness to Sandstorm for understanding the, uh, what damages one is able to kill. Oh my goodness! The Sniper and Tiff! Yeah, those lingering hitbox SIGs, they're really, really good. I play a lot of Azoth, I love those SIGs, and Tiffany is doing a good job of using them. Okay. Tries to go for the Nair, managed to get it into the Sair. Tries to scoop him up with that downlight as well, but it will not be enough. Wow! Oh, yeah, what a there. play! You're out of there. And all of the sudden, Stan Sandstorm is tied in stocks, and we saw this in game one. This is the exact same situation. Oof. Just kidding. She did a <laughs> lot better. Like, in that first game, she did a lot better spacing things out and was getting all of her... getting all of her SIGs to hit that time around. Goes for the side light. We get too much off of that, and just messing way around the battlefield once again as these two have a rondo in neutral. It's almost like a dance. Now Sandstorm able to get a side light into recovery. Almost gets another one, but that will not be able to connect. But Sandstorm getting the better end of these interactions. Oh, tries to get that side sig, doesn't quite land. Sandstorm doing a lot better job this time around, just not walking into all the bow stuff. Ooh, tries to get that double archer arrow. Recovery again. Sandstorm gonna dodge through to get back onto the stage. Tiff, very wary, looking to see what Sandstorm's gonna do, but Sandstorm just backs up. Wow. Nice! Excellent dare from Tiffany, realizing how strong of a weapon bow is off stage. Uh, almost looked like she baited that. Beautiful reaction as well. Just lined the shot up perfectly. And speaking of lining shots up perfectly, goodbye. Gets a swift punch in the face. Domes him. But throw away those gone now. If she be able to grab that axe and get beat out the sky very quickly from Sandstorm, continuing on with the oppression. Wow. Throwing the scythe away, though. Oh, didn't pick up the weapon to try and weapon starve Sandstorm, and that's a big punish from Sandstorm because of it. Yeah, giant no-no. Ooh, side so gonna connect, but Tiff not quite out of the battlefield yet. Actually gonna hit a Sarah while recovering to send Sandstorm off stage, but luckily didn't spell uh, a situation too precarious for Sandstorm. Tiffany just trying to find a way back on stage does hit him with the Sair. Now she's looking for those SIGs again. Long lingering hitboxes from Azoth. 
Alright, managed to hit him with a stare, unarmed, pick up this bow, now Tiff, trying to get that down light, because it converts into so much, but that is not going to happen, as Sandstorm secures the second stock of Tiff. Nice little recovery, not quite enough damage, Tiffany trying to find a way, there it is, that recovery will kill. Right back to even. Okay. Well, Sandstorm. Yeah, just to get that scythe. And it's smacked out by Tiff. Once again, we have yet another close game. Yeah, as opposed to last game, which wasn't particularly close. Uh, dodges through, manages to get the recovery, trying to get old Reed. Tiff didn't have a dodge for all of that, but I think Sandstorm may have overcommitted. And yeah. that was a bit of an overcommitment. Yeah, you're right, by Sandstorm. And game two That's going has already done enough in this tournament to be looked at as a legitimate threat. But I think Tiffany wanted to prove that Winter Championships was not a fluke. And she's proving it right wow. now. Look at this. She's out for blood. She wants to end this tournament now. Goes for the ground pound. Runs away. He's breath from the depths. It's not going to connect. Oh, a trade working in the favor of Sandstorm, but it doesn't matter. Tiff just does another down air. And now he's just looking for a weapon. Hasn't really been using these gauntlets too much, honestly. Um, the moment another weapon spawns, you're probably going to see him throw them away to go and pick up a scythe. But still and he's bearing his own. And I think that's become Sandstorm's downfall in this in this entire set, and maybe the tournament and what could cost him the tournament. He became he he's still fairly one-dimensional, and if you can mitigate the sight, you have a very good chance of winning the game. That's what Tiffany was, has been able to do in these past um, two games. Has not allowed the sight to really pop off. Yeah, but as we see right there, I think Sandstorm is trying to get into Tiffany's head or he may actually feel as if he is calm enough to still bring this back and it was a 3-0, but gonna need a lot more than that. We saw the taunt come, but you know, actions speak louder than words. Oof. As I say that, Sandstorm has been able to fight this back, gets hit with the Ser- I Maybe not enough options? Just enough. Nope, that's it. Can't get back. Still. Oh, yeah! yeah he's fine. He's fine. He got the touch, he, too. He did touch? It didn't look like he touched. Okay, goes for the downlight. Ooh. The recovery. And that's gonna be Tiffany stock. Okay, okay. Okay. I Walk it like I talk it. Yeah. Wow. Awkward oh, hitbox of the Sayer. Ooh. Hitting that D-Sig, the hot breath from the depths, as you call it. Once again, may I give shout-outs to Fats? Fats the one Yeah, that. I remember that. <laughs> but... That was during my game, actually. Because <laughs> I was playing Azon. <laughs> there you go. Wow, the stock of champions coming up. Tiff. Yeah, Tiff versus Tiffany. Sandstorm. Tiffany's just trying, don't get too nervous if you want to win this Sandstorm, knowing that this is tournament stock for him. He needs to pull this out. Tiffany's... Ha her axe has not been hitting this stock. There, finally gets it spaced properly, ties the game back up again. Wow, surprised that Tiff didn't opt to go the ground Tiff again there. Tiff is looking for kills at this point. Nice wow. weapon toss to stop the big <gasps> swing. And game three, going to Sandstorm with the ground pound to close this one out. The, the amount of genuine excitement that I'm having, not knowing who's going to win. Same thing with EU Championships as well. There was no way to know who's going to come out on top. No, it's uh, it's been so close. Sandstorm, huge wow. combos to start this off. Unfortunately, gauntlets don't hit that hard. And with three swings of the axe, Tiffany tied the game up already. Oh, but is Tiffany dead here? No, no, she's Ow. okay. Get, get back down me. there, though. Oof. Patience from Sandstorm. 
tries to respond with the side sig, not going to connect. Tiff now has a bow in hand. Let's see what she's going to be able to do with it. Her bow has been really, really good this set. She needs to keep using it. Okay, that just come through sideline to recovery, not enough to kill. Oh, but that recovery also not enough. Still not enough. Looking for that final blow. Tiff gets a stare. And Kobe. That's gonna be stock one. Big snipe. I love the sound the axe makes when you throw it and it hits. It's so satisfying. Wow, that didn't kill either. One more recovery. I can't imagine Tiff surviving them. No, she's she doing a good job. For it. And because of that, so much damage taken. Yeah, that's a lot of damage, but we've seen Sandstorm, Sandstorm come back from this before. Oh, perfect air dodge on that car. And that I mean was dog. But Tiffany has got Sandstorm in the red with a bow. Looking for the side sig, just missing. Okay, throws the scythe. Picks nice back play. up. Sandstorm. This may potentially be the last game in the set if Tiffany's gonna keep the lead this strong, but we've seen it time and time again where Sandstorm has been able to bring it back. He has, but <sighs> Tiffany is has been a champion before. She knows how to fight these bat she knows how to close these out. Ooh, okay. Sandstorm finally gets hit there after playing a very slow patient game looking openings. Now this period without a weapon is going to be a defining factor. Manages to get a scythe without having to fight through Tiffany. That's huge. He's gonna throw it away though. I really question that decision. Goes to the goes to the gauntlets. Not sure I like this choice. That scythe has been his lifeline this entire tournament. Goodness, he's rarely getting hit now though. Tiff just missing all of these hits. The movement from Sandstorm. Finally a two piece from Tiff. But if he's able to minimize his damage, this could he's go to game five. He's already fought her into the red with only taking those three hits. And oh that my will goodness! Take stock and Sandstorm has fought it back again. He's only in the yellow. Tiffany has no weapon. Sandstorm has the sight. She's got the axe. She has not been able to put together a string since that second stock. We're going to see if she's able to put this away or if Sandstorm has pushed it to a game five. Sandstorm is quite literally being a legend. Look at this aggression, calculated but slow, looking for every opportunity, but carefully as to not throw his chance away. And he's clawed his way back from the depths of hell to give himself this damage lead. Yeah, this is incredible. Uh oh. Alright, it's gonna. Last hit again for both players. Yeah, oh, Sansar was for neutral sig, not gonna connect. Tiff running away with that bow, trying to get an opening. Narrowly oh, outspaces. Boy. Oh my god. Not enough to kill. It was a sweet spot too, just not enough. She wasn't, or he wow. wasn't quite damaged enough. Just be careful with how he gets down to the ground. Sandstorm does a good job. Tiffany looking to close this out. Sandstorm trying to bring it to game five. Gets around that six. Spaces that perfectly. Sandstorm. <gasps> He's not alive! quite enough. You can tell he's going for these desperation weapon throws to try and get an opening. That's another one. Tiff has to be privy to it. Now he's going to miss that side sig. No punish. Is that going to be enough? He's got no recovery. Tiffany should know that. She doesn't engage on it. Another weapon, weapon throw. Oh my goodness. Doesn't it's get it. Close. <gasps> oh, the neutral misses. Another weapon throw. If it ain't broke, don't oh. fix it. He manages. No. She's still alive. No, she isn't, and we're yes! going to a game five. Player two wins. What storm is a damn? Or is Tiffany going to beat the pressure and take game five and take the championships? Yeah, I just Sandstorm win what six games to be able to win this entire tournament, where Tippy only needs to need 
win three at any given point, or rather three in a set. But despite that, we see that Sandstorm is still just working slowly, but clawing his way up the mountain that is Tiffany. And now he's almost at the summit. Tiffany has the damage lead. It means absolutely nothing in this set, apparently. Nice dare from Tiffany. Another nice dare from Tiffany. Should be enough. No, he had a dodge. Got back. Ground pound will be enough. Stock one going to Tiffany. Two stocks left for Stevenator. Three stock or Sandstorm. Three stocks left for Tiffany. You know, I don't even. I'm not even phased because I know I've seen it too many times where Sandstorm has been in this position. And these weapon throws, he's been getting so much mileage. Look at that conversion. Almost hits that side sig. Not quite. Or D sig. <laughs> Tiffany's done some good damage. Has him in the orange. Sandstorm, unfazed, gets that signature, goes to the scythe. I am so into this like i feel like i'm gonna have any moment siege like i this is so oh my is goodness tiffany doesn't have a recovery what oh, did she touch? are you kidding me she touched all the way to the other side around the world like jackie chan and now they're both alive somehow this is insane i don't know how either of them survived that off stage um little soiree that they had there. Nobody's overextending on their hitboxes at all. Side sig, lingering hitbox, does connect. Sandstorm cannot spot dodge that. He needs to avoid it properly. They're both playing so perfectly. You can tell both these players are in the zone, really thinking about nothing else other than their opponent and the game in front of them. And it looks like Sandstorm's gonna get that D-Light into Gravity Cancel, Nutrisig. This is tournament stock for Tiffany. Sandstorm has Tiffany right where he wants her. Tiffany, weaponless Sandstorm, denying the weapon. Tiffany trying to find a weapon, can't find one. Sandstorm in the scythe. Throws it away, too. Gets the gauntlet still, though. Wow, another conversion. Throws it down. He's gonna go for the No, you see Sandstorm run back on stage immediately. Doesn't want to play with the potential of going off stage. Wants to extend this lead nice and slow. That's all he has to do. There's no reason for him to have to commit on anything. He's in the lead. Tiffany has to go to him. <sighs> Jumps right over that weapon throw. And he's still approaching Tiff, even though he does not have a weapon, he is not scared. Manages to grab the scythe again. Tiffany tries to go for that signature, not going to connect once again. Oh, we're looking for a big... Okay, that's going to be the stock. Tiffany is in the red. It hasn't mattered at all this entire set. Just hanging on to her final stock by a thread. Is Ready? that going to be enough? She's so low! That's it! That's it! That's it! That's it! The loser's run! Sandstorm goes all the way!